The Avida's current design, while innovative, can experience instability, especially in windy conditions. DJI needs to invest in advanced aerodynamic simulations and wind tunnel testing to optimize the drone's shape and airflow. This could involve subtle changes to the prop guards, body contours, and even the internal layout of components. A more streamlined design would not only improve stability, but also reduce drag, leading to better battery efficiency and a quieter flight profile. Imagine a drone that cuts through the air with the precision of a finely tuned instrument. Furthermore, the material science behind the drone's construction should be explored, utilizing lighter, more durable composites to enhance overall performance and reduce potential damage from impacts. The jump from a 1 by 1.7 inch sensor to a 1 inch sensor is more than just a spec bump. It's a fundamental shift in image capture. We need to see a camera system that rivals the performance of dedicated cinema cameras, albeit in a compact form factor. This includes not only a larger sensor, but also improved lens optics, advanced image processing algorithms, and better low-light performance. The Avida 3 should be capable of capturing 10-bit color depth for greater flexibility in post-production and, ideally, offer variable aperture control for finer adjustments of depth of field. We should also expect improved electronic image stabilization to complement the drone's physical stability, ensuring smooth, cinematic footage even in challenging flight maneuvers. While the Avida is intended for experienced pilots, improved obstacle avoidance would open up new possibilities for creative expression and make the drone more accessible to a wider audience. We're not just talking about basic obstacle detection. We need intelligent obstacle avoidance that can predict and react to potential collisions in real time. This could involve the integration of AI-powered algorithms that analyze the drone's surroundings and create a dynamic flight path to avoid obstacles. The user should have the option to customize the sensitivity and behavior of the obstacle avoidance system, allowing them to tailor it to their specific flying style and environment. The rumored O3 Plus Sync 4 Plus transmission system is a significant step forward, but we need to see more than just increased range. We need a system that offers rock-solid reliability, low latency, and high bandwidth, even in environments with heavy interference. This could involve the use of advanced frequency hopping techniques, adaptive bitrate streaming, and improved antenna design. The transmission system should also be capable of transmitting high-resolution video and telemetry data simultaneously, providing pilots with a comprehensive view of the drone's status and surroundings. While a five-minute increase in flight time may seem modest, it can make a world of difference in the field. DJI needs to explore innovative battery technologies, such as solid-state batteries or improved lithium polymer formulations, to increase energy density and extend flight time. Furthermore, the drone's power management system should be optimized to minimize energy consumption and maximize efficiency. This could involve the use of advanced algorithms that dynamically adjust the drone's power consumption based on its flight conditions and user inputs. The April release window aligns with DJI's typical product cycle, but the exact date will depend on various factors, including production capacity and market conditions. We should expect DJI to release teaser videos and official announcements in the weeks leading up to the launch, building anticipation and generating excitement among FPV enthusiasts. Ultimately, the Avida 3's success will depend on its ability to deliver a truly immersive and empowering flying experience pushing the boundaries of what's possible with a sinewhook drone.